and a 2006 step drive at 4 p.m. today. The temperature was 24 degrees under cloudy skies. A mass of freezing rain, sleet, and snow was pretty much stationary, which extended on a line from just north of Huntsville through Double Springs, Alabama. This, this system moving at a slow rate of speed should enter Huntsville within the next few hours. Florence has reported seven inches of snow and ice, and it is still coming down as far west as Tupelo and northern Mississippi. So, we can expect tonight, according to the forecasters, upwards of six inches of snow, with maybe even more added on for tomorrow. At 5.45 at 2006 Stamp Drive here in Huntsville, Alabama, today, which is Friday, February the 1st, 1985, at 5.46 now, the temperature is 25 degrees Fahrenheit, and here in Huntsville, or more specifically Northeast Huntsville, we are anticipating the arrival of some sleet and snow mixed. Within the next hour, it is now freezing drizzle. The ice outside on Stab Drive is about a half inch thick, but it is slickest ice and the best and fastest sledding of all time for this area. I just sled it down and just missed being hit by a car on Oakwood. I was going so fast I couldn't stop for and I tipped over and fell into a big puddle of water. Came in, ate some spaghetti, and now I'm recuperating and I think I'll be back out at it in a few minutes. It's now 26 and 62 here in my room for what it's worth. But they are still predicting another six inches of ice and snow on top of the freezing rain and bending trees we already have. A winter storm warning continues. Gary Dobbs of Way TV Channel 31 Weather has um, said that Rogersville and I think Lauderdale County of Northwest Alabama as of 5.30 reported nine inches of sleet and snow on the ground in Rogersville and said also, 11 inches existed in other parts of north, isolated parts of northwest Alabama. At the present time here in Stapp, it's just a sheet of ice and light freezing drizzle, but expected to change within the next hour. At 6.30 p.m. at 2006 Stapp Drive, it is exactly 25 degrees Fahrenheit. At 10.56 Sunday morning, February 3rd, 1985. The temperature is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. There are very light snow flurries outside right now. Ice coating trees, ice coating power lines, and ice is coating the street in a layer of about one inch thick. And as you just heard from Gary Dobbs, the weather is not expected to get any better. In fact, tomorrow on Monday is expected to get much worse. He predicted freezing rain in the beginning, and he also predicted temperatures going to be over the freezing point. I don't think we will see any temperatures over the freezing point, and I also don't think that we will see any freezing rain this time. It should be in the form of sleet and snow more than freezing rain, simply because the upper atmosphere has had a chance to do some cooling off. Our problem with freezing rain was created because of the extreme cold 20s down here on the surface of the earth and warm air coming off the gulf and moisture in the upper atmosphere which is which is why we had the ice problems we had at 11 o'clock at 2006 Stamp Drive it is now 21 degrees Fahrenheit with snow flurries at the Huntsville Jetplex it's 21 degrees light snow Muscle Shoals and Tupelo, 21 degrees and cloudy. This is for 11 o'clock a.m. Sunday, February 3rd, 1985.